The presidential candidate of the NNPP, Rabi Kwankwaso, has confirmed that the ongoing talks, noting that the merger, if it proves true, the choice of a running mate to whoever will be presidential candidate of the alliance should be based on seniority. This is Favor Beverages. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we share news about current happening around the globe. Now, the ongoing alliance talks between the Labour Party and the new Nigerian People's Party, the NNPP, looks to be concluded soon. And the presidential candidate of the NNPP, Rabi Kwankwaso, has confirmed that the ongoing talks, noting that the merger, if it proves true, the choice of a running mate to whoever will be presidential candidate of the alliance should be based on seniority. He, however, noted that such a decision would be left to the leaders of both parties. It will be recalled that the Labour Party had submitted the name of Donyo Kukwe to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the standing vice presidential nominee. Labour Party spokesman Dr. Yudusa Tanko now joins us to speak on this alliance talks. The NMPP, the new Nigeria People's Party, has dispelled claims that its presidential candidate, Rabiu Musa Kwankwonso, has accepted to deputize the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, in the 2023 general elections. Now, Senator Kwankwonso and Obi have been conversing on how to form a coalition or alliance to dislodge the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party. Uh, the party's national publicity secretary uh, Agbo Major uh, describes uh, the report as false and a figment of uh, the imagination of those who are saying so. Now the party uh, says it has high regard for journalists as the watchdog of the nation and major stakeholders in the Nigerian democratic process but it is urging them to always ensure that they do not allow themselves to be used by politicians and all of that. Well uh, I'm glad to have with me here in the studio uh, the National Publicity Secretary of the New Nigeria People's Party, Agbo Major, <laughs> joining us to have this conversation. So good to see you again, Major. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel. Yes. And your party is growing. Oh, I yes. mean, the last time we met, uh, there was no uh, alliance with the Kwon Kwon so group then. It was a smaller uh, group. But with the entrance of uh, Rabi Musa Kwon Kwon so it looks like uh, NMPP is the new bride in town. Well, uh, you know, uh, our party has always been... Uh, there for about 21 years now no doubt and uh, within what is available to us we've uh, ensured that uh, we've done what we should do primarily as a, a political party uh, if you take through you know subsequent elections we've had in the past you discover that the party has effectively participated in those elections and uh, we've even come to you know up with winning so many seats, including a senatorial seat in Bauchi North. The rest is history. It's not for me to say here. Uh, what I'm trying to say is to say that the party has always been there, but somebody has to ignite something, <laughs> you know, to get it look stronger. Yeah. The coming of His Excellency Mohammed Rabiu Musa Kwankwa, so no doubt has uh, repositioned the party and today like you rightly said, we are the bride yeah, of Yeah, it's attractive. I, I've seen some Nigerians saying that whenever they look at your logo, they feel happy because they see fruits everywhere. Yeah, food, yeah. <laughs> Lots yes, of hope, fruits. Yes, hope, yeah. And I don't know if that's what you're coming to give Nigerians in terms of governance. And that's why the Labour Party is attracted to you. Uh, they want to form an alliance with you and all of that. Tell us about that. The, the primary responsibility of every government is to ensure, one, that the people are safe, that's security. Then two, uh, the people should be happy, they should have food on their table. And as you rightly have said, the logo of our party, you know, depicts what we are coming into. Very enticing. Enough food <laughs> Very enticing, for Nigerians to eat you. and be happy. Of course, as you can see, there is, uh, you know, uh, poverty everywhere, ravaging Nigeria as a country and ravaging Nigerians. There's hunger, acute hunger, not just hunger, but acute one. You know, and what we want to do is to ensure that there is food everywhere. Uh, our logo clearly speaks for what we set out to do as a political party by the time we take over power in 2019. And uh, 
It's not just Labour Party. We are the bride. Although so many other political parties are talking with us. It's just Including that... Including uh, PDP and APC? Uh, well, we... No, no, no. We want to... A clear departure from what has been the order of the day in the country. Nigerians are obviously very tired of those two political parties. You know, PDP held sway for 16 years. Uh, it's not for us to judge them, but uh, it's for you and I and then our children to say and state whether there have been, you know, uh, changes in their life, changes in their well-being, changes in infrastructures and all of that. I'm not here to judge them. We're a political party. We are targeting an opportunity to be able to execute our manifestos. APC is there. Uh, of course, uh, if you go to the streets, you will hear what Nigerians are saying. Hunger yeah. everywhere. Okay. Uh, so tell us about this controversy, actually. Right. Why do we have this controversy mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of uh, anxious Peter will be uh, supporters saying that uh, Kwan Kwan so has agreed to be the deputy of Labour Party? Is there an alliance already? Well, uh, in party relationship, that is uh, inter-party relationship, uh, there is always a room for alliance. There is always a room for all forms of understanding. It could be alliance, it could come under whatever name. Uh, I am here to tell you that we are talking, the two political parties are talking, the two presidential candidates of the two political parties in question are also talking. Uh, but what really went amiss was the speed with which they went to the streets to say that uh, there's already an arrangement in place and that uh, one has agreed to be deputy to the other. You know, and that's why I had to really co quickly come out to tell Nigerians that uh, the talks are still on, discussions are still on at the level of the two candidates, discussions are still on at the level of the leadership of the two political parties. And so it was clearly out of place. You know, and that's why I referred to it as mischief. Whoever wrote that did that out of mischief. And probably maybe with a hidden agenda to see how he can put us under, you know, the relationship that has yeah, we've existed. Seen the uh, Labour Party supporters, I mean Peter Obi supporters as they like to call themselves, not necessarily Labour Party supporters, but Peter Obi supporters <laughs> who like to call themselves obedience, actually saying that they would have loved such a combination. Tell us why can't we Kwan Kwan so deputize uh, Peter Obi? No, 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 no. You see, we have always said it. Let me tell you. Of the 18 presidential candidates, you know, that have come up at the conclusion of the nomination exercise, I can tell you that His Excellency Mohammed Musa Rabiu Kwankwaso stands out. He stands out. It's clear. You know, this is a man who has affected the lives of people. You go to Kano, his antecedent speaks for him, his relationship with the ordinary people. One striking thing about him is that. He is directly there for the ordinary people. And that has stood him out. We have continued to receive calls. A lot of people have called to say, no, 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 no. We will not accept that. The only thing we want you to arrive at is a conclusion that uh, Peter Obi will be deputy. Peter Obi obviously is uh, a very nice man, you know, who <laughs> so has also if done he well to deputize Kwan Kwan, so you would accept that proposal? That is the only thing that is acceptable Okay, to but us. how about the criticism that, I mean, Kwan Kwan so is only restricted to Kano and maybe Jigawa? No, I think that's... Uh, that's, that's and the strange. NMPP, that uh, the projections are that the NMPP may only do well in Kano and maybe Jigawa. You know, you know when people come to analyze and make inferences about things they do not know about. You are bound to be misfed with, uh, you know, to be fed with information that are not correct. Uh, somebody who is not an insider in NMPP will not be able to tell you exactly what NMPP stands for. The spread is massive. The party, like you and I know, a party of 21 years, you know, is, it shouldn't be a party that anybody will quickly dismiss to one or two states like that. You know, we've, there, we've been there for 21 years. And uh, we have our spread, we have our structures everywhere. Of course, you were there when we had the national convention. You would have seen that, uh, you know, participation cut across, you know, from ward yeah, through I mean, local the, yeah, government. Yeah, the, the party and has spread much so, more than it was. Yeah, uh, so before. what I'm trying to say is uh, for anybody so. to quickly dismiss an MPP as a party that is there only in Kano in a few other places, I think that's uh, not the right uh, assessment to be done. What I can tell you, as the spokesman of the party is that the party is heavily on ground across all the nooks and crannies of this country, even at the lowest level. We are the party that is the toast of Nigerians now. You go even to market women 
in the most remote villages, you go to farmers, you know, in the north, we are fondly referred to as uh, Kayandadi, me Kayandadi. <laughs> in the <laughs> south, you know, as they tell you, with, uh, exactly, you things. know, the basket, <laughs> you, know. you know, with a lot of sweet things to take and all of that. And then you go down south, they tell you, ah, is it not that party that has the basket with a lot of good things? You know, so for anybody to, you know, try to dismiss us as, you know, existing in just one section, or maybe one or two states, I think that's not correct. The person may be speaking out of ignorance, but I'm here to tell Nigerians that this is a party that is everywhere, all uh, across all levels, and we're good to go for 2023. And now, let's just uh, 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 do uh, uh, this political thinking ahead of the elections and ahead of the proposed alliance. Some of the party leaders in APC and PDP that I've been speaking with uh, say that the NMPP and Labour Party, if they ever agree to go an into an alliance, will just be a distraction that there's no how both of you will be able to injure them very well. And when we say that, look, Kano, Jigawa, uh, the vote for NMPP will definitely uh, go up very well. And then, of course, you have uh, Peter B probably in the southeast and then other parts of Nigeria. They keep dismissing it and so on. And then with the enthusiasm, you're seeing Nigerians coming together to get their uh pvcs and all of that do you think that if this alliance ever works out that the pdp and the apc will be making a mistake by denigrating that such an alliance well sambo you are speaking as a journalist i'm speaking to you as a politician uh, what we do as politicians is to dismiss even that thing that is a clear threat you know and that's what apc and pdp are doing uh, they know they have the statistics and they know that uh, we are clearly the party to beat in this upcoming election for 2023. You know, so coming to say that uh, even NMPP alone, even without an alliance with the Labour Party, is a problem to them. You had, of course, Oju Zokalu, Senator Oju Zokalu. He came on air to say that uh, the only challenge that is there for 2023 is the emergence of Kwan Kwasu as the presidential candidate of NMPP. He said that because he has statistics and he has clear information as to what is on ground. And uh, like uh, the presidential candidate of my party has always said, we are not even looking at the North again because the North, yeah, because naturally. Because the NMPP is being seen as a Northern party. And so that's why it needs an alliance with someone who is strong in the South to be able to make some uh, footprints across the country. We are not, we don't have any problems coming into any alliance, any form of alliance with anybody from the South. But isn't the alliance an admission that uh, NMPP is not strong across the country? So it needs another party that is strong in the other part of Nigeria to be able to make an inroad. Something like, except if you are challenging <laughs> me that we should go into this election without any alliance, we will still win. But the truth is that this alliance talk that is everywhere now is the, 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 the thinking of Nigerians. Nigerians are saying this job will be made easier mm -hmm. if Pankwaso and P2B comes together. Mm -hmm. They are not saying that without the alliance, uh, you know, uh, APC or PDP, PDP would have the day. No, that's not what they are saying. What they are saying is they want something that would make this job very, very easy for them. And coming together of uh, His Excellency Senator Kwan Kwasu and His Excellency P2B would make the job easier for them. So saying that without, uh, we are thinking of an alliance because of this thinking that we're not strong in the South is also not correct. Remember that the founder of this party, Dr. Boniface Okechiku yeah. and Abraham. He's from the Southeast. Mm -hmm. And he's not the man that anybody would dismiss with ease like that. You know, he's there. Then, also remember that uh, we have very key people from the, the South uh, West, the likes of uh, uh, Alaji Bisi Olokpanyon, who they fondly refer to as the kingmaker in, uh, in Oyo State. We also have uh, key people from the South South. Who are ready to deliver so okay. for anybody to say that uh, without the alliance we won't make any progress uh, uh, okay I think as, as we try to round off this conversation yeah. and what will you say to peter obi's uh, supporters who are very anxious uh who are also you know counting on your party to actually provide a conquest so who's a deputy to a peter obi well uh, if you go through the statement i issued a few days ago you will discover that i've continued to encourage them you know they should continue to pray because at the end of the day, what we are looking at is a Nigeria that works for everybody, mm -hmm. you know. And like I rightly said, they feel that that alliance would make the job easy for them, you know. So I will continue to appeal to them, you know, 
to remain prayerful and to continue to wish these discussions well. I can tell you that uh, we are at a very advanced stage in this discussion. Like I told you, the two principals are talking. The party leadership across the two levels are also talking. Of course, Abure, the national chairman <laughs> of Labour Party, of is Labor Party, uh, yes. my very close friend. Even uh, yesterday, yeah, when I was trying to get out of Lagos, I had uh, very fruitful discussions with him. So, at the level of the party leadership, we are talking. The two yeah, principals I mean, a lot of Nigerians are also talking. So, <laughs> uh, I can only but say that uh, they should continue to pray for this okay. arrangement to work. Uh, it is still on track. Nothing can distract it because we also feel by our right. assessment that uh, if we have the two come together the job will be easier but that is not to say that anybody should be in a hurry to conclude that uh, oh, all right be uh, unfortunately i'm being told that we don't have enough time and a lot of nigerians will actually be very happy to see this work because they are in search of a third force and then because we need these political alliances to help you know strengthen the capacity of uh, nigerians to be able to get good governance at least if people can't get a ticket in apc or pdp they'll have a credible alternative we must thank you so much if this is the first time you're coming across my video Please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be the first to get notified.